For Wall Street Media, this is Marley. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't get anywhere else. And Marley, we've got some uh, information that's just ours, um, and we're sharing with the people today from we the do. Wall Street Analyst Forum. We do. Uh, what do we have? We have Johan Smith, who's the chairman of the board of Vista International Technologies. Their ticker is VVIT.OB. Discussed its future involvement with a local manufacturer, as well as current and upcoming projects in Bulgaria, Hawaii, New York, Colorado, and with the Mexican government in Mexico. Here it is. Uh, some of our partners is uh, a major international engineering firm called Rupp. Uh, they're about a 62-year-old company, if I'm not mistaken. And they have uh, joined forces with us because they've been extremely excited. They're looking at going into the renewable energy sector and looking at a way for us to help them do that. Uh, Calibri Group is one of our carbon credit buyers. Uh, they're more on the uh, Kyoto aspect. We have other partners that are focused on uh, um, developing things for uh, the voluntary market, which we feel is a lot better than uh, Kyoto in that respect. And then uh, a marine engineering service company that will help us uh, get into the marine market. And uh, we have uh, energy efficient lights that uh, are actually, we're looking, uh, they're manufactured overseas, but we're looking at bringing them into the U.S. and manufacturing here in the U.S. Um, organic soil enhancement, what does that do? Well, a lot of people say, why would that fit into a renewable energy uh, company, a company focused on renewable energy? If you can reduce the use of fossil fuels in a, a for chemicals or fertilizers, if you do it organically, it helps reduce the carbon footprint one step at a time, as we always say. And we have a, a local manufacturer that we're in the process of um, being involved with us that will actually allow us to cut our costs. And uh, they have some technology that uh, uh, in oil shell and tar sands, so we look at it as a, because that's a market that potentially is good for us. And uh, our waste energy projects, um, like I said earlier, we have about $5 billion in business at the moment. At the moment, um, only due to um, personnel reasons, we're turning away about a half a billion dollars in business a month, uh, putting it on hold for a month or so because we're just really not ready to ramp up that. We're getting the manufacturing, everything in play. Um, but our interest in what we're doing is quite substantial. China and India is, 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 is enormous for us. We see a lot of growth there. and. Uh, um, you know, we're excited about it. Southeast Europe, we announced a project in, in Bulgaria recently, and we expect that market to increase to about 250 million uh, minimum in the next uh, several years. As I mentioned, Hawaii, and then also we announced uh, recently a, a project that we're looking at doing here in the city of, uh, of New York. Uh, well, in the burbs, not in the central part here, but outside. And, uh, and then Colorado, we have a number of projects we're working on. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we're working with the, the Mexican government, and we've got a number of projects in Mexico. Uh, as always, if you'd like to watch the entire webcast for Vista, you can go to wsw.com slash webcast slash WSAF6. Well, that's all we have for now. We'll be back later with more webcasts and notes from the conference. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us at wsmco.com. Thanks for joining us.